Hello class, welcome to Screenwriting 101. If you want to learn how to make your screenplay not suck, then you've come to the right place. Today's subject, violence and storytelling. Now, I am a speck of dust in the universe when it comes to this topic. There are literally hundreds of blogs, forums, and professional medical studies written about media violence. Everybody defends their evidence and viewpoints while complaining about and contradicting the viewpoints of others. Kinda like politics. But what nobody thinks about is whether or not the violence is necessary. Why is it there in the first place? Well, we gotta look back to the beginning of stories for that answer. Violence in stories is nothing new to the human race. Early myths are wrought with epic wars and tragic death. Like that, for instance. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest pieces of fiction in history, is full of violence. He fights somebody on top of a wall and slaughters a hideous monster. William Shakespeare wrote hundreds of plays and stories where the protagonist dies at the end, often in horrible, gruesome ways. These authors and playwrights back then understood how important violence was for telling an interesting story. It's practically common sense among those who tell stories for a living. It's one thing to say violence is necessary, but why? It comes down to two rules of storytelling, the first being conflict, which is the backbone of any good story that's ever been told. The heroes often need somebody or something to fight against, often resulting in violence. Without bumps in the road, the journey of our heroes would be boring. A prime example of necessary conflict is Lord of the Rings, which, without the opposition of Sauron's army, would be this. Booga booga! This ring is bad news. Destroy it. Okay. Sam, I'm tired. Carry me. Okay. Always look on the bright side of life. Throw it in the fire! Okay. Brussels! <laughs> My, wasn't that exciting? Nobody in their right mind would want to see that. We want to see our heroes overcome evil and earn their happy ending. Mike DiMartino, co-creator of Avatar, yeah, that Avatar, put it this way, if there's no conflict, the hero has no way of being tested. No test, and the hero hasn't earned their success for happiness. We need to see the evil and all the suffering it's causing, which often takes the form of violence. Conflict then feeds into the second important element of any good story, investment. The audience is supposed to care about the goal of the heroes, and the only way to do that is to raise the cost of failure and to make failure a legitimate possibility. By putting the heroes in harm's way, it helps us care about their mission. Avatar The Last Airbender is a great example of this. Our heroes are shot at, kicked, burned, chased, and captured throughout their entire journey, which makes us concerned for their safety and the success of their mission. These two elements help build the story into a catharsis, an emotional satisfaction or release for the audience. This goes back to the idea that, through violence, characters get the chance to earn their happy ending. What if Indigo never fought Count Rugen in an epic sword duel, but was able to kill him easily? Or if in Taken, Liam Neeson just had to ask nicely for his daughter back? Would that have been nearly as satisfying? No, God! No! Exactly. The more struggle and danger the characters go through to achieve their goals, the better it feels when they get their happy ever after and live in peace. All right, hey. All right, good job, guys. Uh, let's just not come in tomorrow. Let's just take a day. Be mindful, however, that there is a difference between violence for the sake of story and violence for the sake of violence. <laughs> like that, for example. I know Tarantino is such an easy example, but I can't help it. He is the king of useless carnage. He seems to just use it as a bloody gimmick, as a lot of other filmmakers do. We're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna show you some clips from movies, and you're going to decide whether or not the scenes of violence are absolutely necessary to the story. Ready? Good 
good idea. Bye, Miss Laura. <laughs> Bad idea. Good idea. Bad idea. Power at 400% capacity. How about that? Good idea. Okay, that shot was awesome, but you get my point, yes? There is a huge difference between violence for the sake of plot and character and bloody padding. So the next time you're watching a movie or show, or even if you're sitting down to write a screenplay yourself, stop and think about the difference, because it could make the difference between a good story and a bloody mess. I'm out.